Welcome back. Uh, well, one of the stocks of this year has been NIIT Tech, which has now been renamed Coforge. Now, remember, this is a company in which Bering has the majority stake now. We have uh, company's uh, CEO, Sudhir Singh, now joining us. Uh, Sudhir, good morning. Thanks much for joining us. Uh, you know, in the break, uh, we were discussing why Coforge. If you could uh, just first tell us that. Uh, is it because you want to just move away from the erstwhile identity? And if yes, then uh, uh, why this name? Good morning to you as well. It's a, it's a big day for us and thank you for, uh, for the opportunity to talk about this. Uh, over the last three years, and I suspect you're aware, uh, we at the erstwhile NIIT Technologies and now CoForge Limited have charted out a very aggressive growth agenda and we've delivered on that agenda. We've also charted out over time a very aggressive change agenda and that again has been executed fully. Now, given the growth of and the changes within the firm, we thought uh, summing up the journey over the last three odd years that we've been on this change journey, this might be a good opportune time to rename ourselves and to acknowledge the changes and the growth that the firm has already experienced. Hence the renaming, hence the change, hence the new name, CoForge Limited. Okay. CoForge for us, to your second question, we sweated a lot over this name as you can imagine. Uh, it stands for working together to create lasting value. Mm -hmm. the, the connotation as we again uh, sweated over that piece to us is, uh, is very representative. It's very emblematic of the uh, extreme client and employee centricity that's been ingrained within the culture of our firm for quite some time. Okay. But Sudhir, are you going to change business track, uh, include any new business or something? No, at this point in time, the primary imperative continues to be that the growth agenda, the significant acceleration that we've done over the last three years on the growth, uh, on the growth trajectory stays. In order to make sure that the trajectory stays, hopefully goes up over time, uh, we have planned and we've talked about adding a fourth vertical to our service mix. So far, we were focused on insurance, financial services, on the BFS side and travel. Healthcare is going to be the fourth vertical that we will get into and we've already registered a material win in that space, which again we had talked about. Okay. So that's, that's the outlook. So Add a fourth vertical, hmm. continue doing all that we were doing on the growth agenda. Okay, got that. Sudhir, hi, good morning. But you know, uh, you have one of the highest exposure to the travel, tourism and hospitality sector. Almost 20% of your revenues comes from there and that one has been hit very hard. How is the situation right now? Uh, any more clients ramping down and do you expect more pressure there? I think we've seen significant ram downs over the last two quarters and we've been able to absorb all of it. Uh, at the end of the last quarter, during the investor call, I had clearly said that we expect to grow in the current quarter at least 7% sequentially over the last quarter. Okay. All, all verticals outside of travel, these six other businesses that we have, all of them despite the pandemic for the last two quarters have continued to grow. Hmm. And even travel starting this quarter is going to be on the growth path for us. Okay. Any change to the guidance that you gave us uh, for the second quarter? I think you said uh, margin growth of 150 bips uh, in Q2 and 7% growth. Uh, we stay absolutely consistent with that. Uh, uh, we, you're absolutely right. We talked about 150 bits sequential improvement in margin in quarter two over quarter one mm -hmm. and a 7% constant currency growth. And at this point in time, we remain absolutely consistent with what we talked about. Okay. Well, we'll uh, uh, meet up later. Thank you very much, uh, Sudhir Singh, for joining us. It's earnings season, so there are a string of companies lined up. All the very best with your new name. May it uh, bring you more luck. Uh, well, that's uh, the word coming from uh, the new name that you will see listed. It is CoForge in place of NIT Technologies. And now Prakash Devan joins us to analyze uh, a welter of news.